My chess friends, I am the chess god of our Miliway galaxy and Alpha Zero dares to challenge me in chess, he won some games against me because I let me win but from today I won't let him win. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom, I started the game with d4, we have e6 e4 and d5, French defense in normal variation, knight f6 bishop g5 to play e5, so after couple of moves later I played h4 which is called alignine chatard attack, this move sacrifices a pawn on g5 but the main benefit for white is that he gets the open rook file, we will play knight h3 to grab the f4 square. Queen g4 is a logical move to pressure the black structure, but in our game, Alpha is a stockfish sub so he played knight c6 intelligently, few moves later we have queen to d2, my intention is clear that I want to play long castle, move up the rook on third rank to enjoy this gf file, I may push the kingside pawns, so knight b6 bishop e3 knight here and we have first pieces exchanges, Alpha can expand his queen side to target the knight and play h6 to defend his important g5 square. So after a3 b5 queen here to target the pawn if black tries to push his b pawn, but Alpha Zero is a smart and fearless engine, he have no fear of losing the game or greed of winning which is why he pushed the b pawn, takes takes, queen can't capture on c4 because of the king rook fork, for that reason I played rook h3 first to create some problems, a5 rook g3 to target it, playing castle will not solve the problem as white can play bishop h6 to target the g7 pawn. You have to play g6 then you will lose the rook, count your age by friends, not years. Count your life by smiles, not tears, so back to the position, if you dare slide the rook on g8, let me show you the variation, then white will consider bishop g5, takes takes to target the pawn camp, h6 knight e4 to target the pawn, you, the 2000 elo rated cockroach, may capture the pawn on h4, then after castle white will threatening to play knight f6 check, which will create pressure to the g8 rook, so king f8 queen takes, c4 to target the pawn, queen e7 then we will sacrifice the pawn on d5. Takes takes to target the queen, here if you play bishop e6 to pin the knight, then we will play the brilliant knight f6 check, if black captures it then after rook takes rook, takes knight takes queen, you will lose the queen and the game. Any fool can know. The point is to understand, so back to the position, if black plays bishop takes knight then after knight h7 check, king e8 rook takes bishop, we will sacrifice the rook because Gotham chess with us, takes takes, rook b8 to get rid from the queen attack, knight f6 check king here check, and you will lose the rook on b8. The secret of life, though, is to fall 7 times and to get up 8 times, so back to the position, if you dare to play knight takes knight instead of playing bishop e6, then after queen takes knight, the position will be fall. Apart, this is plus 5 situation for white, if you try to save the rook then after couple of moves later you will lose the rook on g8. The simple things are also the most extraordinary things, and only the wise can see them, so alpha plays g6, bishop h6 to prevent castle, bishop b7 rook d1 to push the pawn on d5 and play knight g5 to target the structure, so after knight d5 knight e4 I want to play knight g5 to court these squares where my queen will attack them, queen d7 king slide queen c6 to play c3 and knight f4 to target the queen, but I am stockfish, I don't afraid of him, bishop takes knight will lead into queen takes knight. So I played knight f6 check first to get an extra move with a tempo, bishop acts and we have bishop exchanges on g5, d5 is a threatened chess friends, if you want to play like me and become a best chess player in the world then you can subscribe to my youtube channel where you will get daily dose of stockfish videos, if a4 happen by white then we will sacrifice the pawn on d5, takes e6, to dominate the black's king position completely, king ups knight d4 to give him a check, in few moves. We will play rook e1 to occupy the file, knight e6 check is a threat so h5 by black which is the best move, queen check king run away rook e6 to target the queen, queen c5 queen e5 to play rook check and targeting to the rook at the same time, rook d8 rook takes pawn, the 6th rank is a roller coaster for black, I mean rook to b6 will create headache for the bishop, knight c6 is a threat to fork the king and rook, rook c6 is an another logical move to create problem to the queen. So rook a7 knight to c6 check, king here queen takes pawn to target the rook, 
rook here rook f6 rook to e8 rook t6 d4 rook check, and it will be a checkmate. Don't gain the world and lose your soul, wisdom is better than silver or gold, so back to the current position, here alpha 0 played h6 to kick out my knight, knight f3 castle c3 rook here knight t2 to target the pawn on c4, rook a1 is coming so a4 rook a1 king ups and after couple of moves later we have queen to e3. Thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.